2022 may have been a huge year for horror, but 2023 has done a pretty great job of following in its claw prints. There really was something terrifying for everyone this year. So grab something cozy to cower under and get ready for our favorite new horror films from 2023. Number five. Saw 10. It's an unwritten rule that sequels are rarely as good as the original, and it's even more of a stretch to imagine the 10th, yes, 10th installment being up there with a the franchise's best. But here we are. Saw 10, it's probably fair to say, is not like most sequels. The movie jumps back in time to somewhere between Saw and Saw 3, as John Kramer, played by Tobin Bell, wreaks some jigsaw style revenge against a team of medical professionals who make the very bad mistake of trying to scam him. The film stays true to the canon, while also bringing something entirely new to it. We made this for the fans, is a defense frequently trotted out in the face of critiques of franchise films. However, there's perhaps no more apt a description of Saw 10 than something crafted specifically for longtime viewers. Which is not to say that it's impenetrable to outsiders, though 10 entries in, you probably know whether or not Saw is for you but rather that it's built on the kind of metatextual adoration that only longtime devotees could have for a twisted serial killer who once audited Freshman Philosophy 101. Number four, talk to me. Teenagers carrying out rituals to contact the dead may have been done before, but YouTubers Danny and Michael Filippo, AKA Raka Raka, put their own horrifying spin on the genre in Talk To Me. This Aussie shocker is a waking nightmare where a group of teens use an eerily lifelike hand statue to open a door to the other side, with serious consequences if they don't break their hold before 90 seconds has passed. In the end, Talk To Me is a terrifically scary horror movie, thanks to powerful performances, creepy creature designs, a splash of blood and gore, and practical effects that'll blow your mind and chill your spine. Like its sister in Sundance 2023's Midnight Slate, Birth and Rebirth, Talk To Me is the rare horror trip that knows just when to end with a wallop. If you're looking for some freaky, frightening fun, be sure to reach out and touch this one. Number three, Bo is Afraid. Proving that you don't necessarily need pop-out monsters to be terrifying, Ari Aster's Bo is Afraid throws viewers into a three-hour fever dream, as the titular Bo, played by Joaquin Phoenix, navigates an incredibly anxiety-inducing journey to his mother's house. Bo is Afraid is a challenge in that its exploration of terror doesn't allow you the reprieve typically provided in horror. There are no jump scares to give you the release of a scream. The film instead operates on a wicked sense of whimsy, propelling its protagonist forward without much respite, despite flights of fancy. So too are we pushed to the brink, wallowing in uncertainty and anxiety, on the edge of our seats over what might come next. Number two, The Boogeyman. Following his viral success with Host in 2020, Director Rob Savage adapted Stephen King's short story into a nightmarish film that plays on all our classic childhood fears. Sadie, played by Sophie Thatcher from Yellow Jackets, is a bereaved teenager struggling with both the death of her mother and a monstrous presence hiding in the shadows of her house. The special sauce that makes this movie one of the most fun and thrilling of the year is the combination of a truly unnerving creature design paired with Savage's downright savage employment of it. A predator whose territory is darkness, this boogeyman is the definition of nightmare fuel. A chittering sound design makes its call uniquely alarming as it echoes across a theater, assaulting our ears. Watching it scurry, lunge, and roar is exactly the kind of twisted treat horror fans yearn for. Go see for yourself, if you dare. Number one. Megan. Killer dolls have long been a horror staple, but Megan took things to a whole new level. Written by malignant scribe Akilah Cooper, directed by Gerard Johnstone, and made viral via TikTok and an impressive marketing campaign, this wonderfully tongue-in-cheek thriller shows what happens when AI bites back. Gemma, played by Allison Williams, is a toy engineer hard at work on a child-sized doll dubbed Megan that's designed to be the perfect friend and babysitter. When she's suddenly entrusted with the care of her newly orphaned niece, Katie, played by Violet McGraw, the overworked roboticist enlists Megan to help out. And well, if this beta test went smoothly, it wouldn't be our top horror movie of the year. Look, let's be honest. This movie could have been incredibly stupid and it probably would have still been fun as hell, 
but this killer toy creepy kid flick is more than meets the eye. With a thoughtful character design connected by two terrific performances, Johnstone has made a newly minted horror icon with Megan. Like the slashers who've stalked before her, she's got a perturbing panache that's enhanced by its subversive girliness. Her dance scene isn't just a throwaway moment of memeable mayhem. It's an element of what makes Megan stand out. She's a little girl's dream toy and a parent's worst nightmare. She's complicated, compelling, and creepy as hell. <laughs> 